As we mentioned at the top of the hour, Chief Justice John Roberts broke with the court's conservatives late last night to block a Louisiana law that would have severely limited access to abortion clinics in the state of Louisiana. Uh, Susan Del Percio, this reminds me of, of what John Roberts did in, uh, in the Obamacare case, uh, where his decision after in the decision basically can be summed up this way. I'm not going to do for you in a court decision what you can do for yourself at the ballot box. Uh, and that was at the time people were saying Roberts was trying to defend the integrity of the Supreme Court and the reputation of the Supreme Court. Here it seems, at least for now, you have John Roberts saying, I, I understand there are a lot of people that want Roe v. Wade overturned now, like Brett Kavanaugh, but I'm not going to so quickly jump into that fray for a 50-year precedent that, according to a Kaiser Family Foundation, uh, poll from last year, 67% of Americans don't want overturned. Uh, that, uh, that would severely undermine, I'm sure many people would believe, uh, the credibility of the Supreme Court. That's absolutely right, Joe, and this is about the integrity. And this, you know, this particular case was a law written to prevent women from having abortions. It was written in such a way that it only allows, I think, one doctor in the entire state to meet all the qualifications, which is absurd. Now, it's working its way through the course, so this is just a stay. But I also think, going back to the integrity of the court, Judge Roberts knows there's going to be a lot or suspects there's going to be a lot of legal challenges coming through. And I think he's just trying to show that this can be a balanced, independent institution, which is so important now as we have a president who's looking to just defile all of our basic pillars of democracy. Well, and, and Gene, it looks like at least again, at least for this stay, uh, mm -hmm. John Roberts is filling the position that Anthony Kennedy did before and Sandra yep. Day O'Connor did before, where, yes, they were looking at the law, but they were also looking at uh, where two-thirds of Americans were uh, and, and also uh, trying to figure out exactly how mm -hmm. far they could move the Supreme Court in one direction or another without severely damaging the reputation of that court. Yeah, they and and they're doing it. You mentioned uh, Sandra Day O'Connor and Anthony Kennedy. I mean, they they've all played this role in slightly different ways. I think Sandra Day O'Connor, a former politician, was more sort of obviously political in her in her judgments, and Kennedy was a bit different. John Roberts is an institutionalist. He is the closest thing to a swing vote on this court right now, but he, he really is an institutionalist, and, and he, he, un, he doesn't just understand precedent. He, he values it. And so, you know, in 2016, the, the court um, struck down a, a Texas law that was basically just like this Louisiana law. Um, so with that precedent, I think there was no way that Roberts was going to uh, allow the conservative majority to just sort of reverse it a couple, of, you know, a couple of years later and say, you know, have at um, anti-abortion yeah. forces. So, um, uh, so it's going to be very interesting going forward. But he is the closest thing to a swing vote now. Still ahead, the AP's Jonathan Lemire joins us with his new reporting on how the president is using this abortion issue to re-energize evangelical voters ahead of a possible 2020 primary challenge. Plus, we remember two great Americans who passed away yesterday. Morning Joe is back in a moment. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.